All right, let's try it again. I realized I wasn't even recording. Hey, everybody, what it do? It's your boy Beat. So I've been thinking about playing this game for a while because I saw Alpha Red play this with his friends. I think a few years back when they did this, and then I watched it again recently, and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, this was cool. I really want to play this. So before I even did that, I went ahead and went online and played a little bit of Infinite Craft, and then I saw on the same website they also had Trolley Problem as an extra thing too. So I was like, okay, cool, let me try this. Did it for a little bit, realized, yep, I need this game now. So went ahead and bought it. It's on sale. Um, it has mixed reviews, which is interesting. I don't really know why. I'm not. I don't really care. Um, I'm just interested in this aspect of the thing. So I mean, if it, you know, if there's anything bad that's been going on, then you know, you guys can let me know. But really, I'm just here to play the game. Honestly, I know Yogscraft is behind this. I used to really be into Yogscraft because of uh, uh, Martin, Yogscraft Martin. But um, yeah, I haven't been paying attention to anything that's been going on there, honestly. Ooh. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go solo. I guess we'll be taking full responsibility for our actions, boys and girls. The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Mm. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. Oh gosh, okay. This signature is in no way binding or even used, but all right. I almost signed my real name, that would've been really bad. Uh, B, T. Actions speak louder than words. Oh, they do, don't they? Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to Trolley Problem, Inc., founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values. Responsibility, integrity, and respect. With that in mind, let's start your training. Okie doke. Use your manual. Okay. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. Mm. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? Well, normally, you know, you'd like to... You'd like to save the most oh. amount of people, right? So you're just going to do nothing? No, no, no. I'm trying to explain this thing. So, um... Oh, God. We really don't have time. Just pull yeah, a lever. I guess you're right. The more people who die, the better? Nope. It has to be the lesser two evils. So the lesser two evils in this situation is one person dying over five people dying. I just feel like it's much better. Reality, I would love there there be a situation where no one dies, but we, that's not our situation Usually, here. we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. Ha! Huh. You agree with 71.51% of players worldwide. You agree with Reed Graves. Total agreement, 100%. So you say that, but either I take out one person or take out five. Unless there are two evils right there, baby. We out here. We good. We Gucci. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Utilitarian! Kill the one! Uh-oh. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Oh, Reality will hit her like a ton of bricks. I'm just saying. A trolley is heading towards another five people. No! You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sandpit. What? You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. No, 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 no. do No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I can't. Are you not saving them just because they aren't as cute as Polly? Shut up, this is a child. This child has not had any time to live. I can't do it. I wonder if any of the five are children. Or maybe all of them. You didn't say anything! Hey! Yo, 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 yo! Come on, come on. I I'm sorry, I can't. That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition 
to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for those five deaths? Damn, bro. <laughs> this is hard. That's not fair because this is a child, bro. This child is not in time to even do anything, man. I, oh, damn, bro. Damn! The end justifies the means. The key oh. to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. Oh. Oh, brother. Oh, no, brother. Brother. Oh, no, brother. Yipes. Also, hold on one second. Okay, let's go. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. Do you push Tyrone off the bridge? Or let the train hit five people? Whoa, okay, hold on. Look at this list of people on here. 121 million people are starving in the world. That's crazy. Okay, look, Tyrone, lesser two evils. death is different to allowing someone to die as collateral damage. Yeah, you know. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, butter. The cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. Damn, bro. Oh. Oh, they, oh, I didn't want to think about all the stuff in there. Never mind. All right, keep going. A cat has nine lives. That is true. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. Uh oh I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Oh, crap. Wait, wait, what? There is a dying dog down on the tracks. <gasps> no trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Oh my gosh! Oh no. Oh. Oh crap, I don't... Let nature take its course. Don't listen to the yelps. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I actually cannot. I, I'm gonna have to leave it to die. Um, I couldn't leave it there to die alone. I can't. I can't beat. No, I have to. I'm sorry. I can't kill the dog. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, Pupper. I can't do it. When you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just left it there to die. We're not saving the dog. We're gonna be, we're gonna be killing the dog. So you add dead dog to me. Either way, the dog dies. There's no saving the dog. What the hell are you talking about, Regret? You can't save the dog. It's either you leave it to die or you kill it. Like what? No. <laughs> if you play with fire, you'll get burned. Oh gosh. Oh great! I've just heard those kids are back. What? They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. So, wait, these kids? What kids? What are you talking about? What? Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. Oh! The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die, or sacrifice the delinquents? Damn. I know these kids are a nuisance, but... Ooh. Ooh. If the trespassers weren't there, you would change the path, right? Yes, I would, if the trespassers weren't there. Yes. I guess you value criminals over co-workers, then. Noted. Oh, fuck off! These are children! I'm sorry. The lesser are two evils. That's a lot of people. You killed a co-worker. 
All right, then, I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits upstairs think. Well, I don't care what the suits upstairs think. I care about what I think. How about that? Hmm? Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc. Oh! And would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation. What? Well, there you THC. go! This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. What did I tell you? When you have to make the hard decisions, the best ones... Other ones with the less of a recourse. Obviously, you know, I, I messed up a little bit, but, you know, taking out this vibe. But it was better than taking out the little girl. You can't just tell me that story about the little girl and just expect me to go, no, I can't do that, no. The best laid plans go astray. What do I mean? It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. Hmm. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. We'll start with justice. Okay. Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? I'm sorry, it's gotta be a young man. It has to be. In a year or two, we can probably get the heart back off this old boy. Yeah, but he's gonna die. You want the young one News to die? News just in, the young male has alcohol in his blood. Was he driving? You can't do that to me! No! No, you can't do that to me last minute. No, I'm sorry. It has to be. He's too young. You made an excellent choice. Well done. The elderly man deserved that heart much more. Oh, oh wait. Did you save the young guy? Oh. <laughs> hey, well, I agree with most people. Regraves, you know, it is what it is. You can't win them all. Exactly. So you can't win them all. Come on. You're late. The oh. hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Oh, Remember, gosh. temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. Oh, no. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? Ah. Uh. Gosh, no, I'd rather do legal treatment. I'm sorry, I can't. Don't, don't do that to me. Mm -mm. The family will be thankful. They can still feel good about sending flowers. Yeah, I can't, I can't euthanize. What, what, what do you say if I do that? What if they're undercover? <gasps> this could be a sting operation. Never mind, nope, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. No, 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 nope, can't do it, can't do it. Staying with my thing, staying with my thing. Legal, 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 legal. Legal. them alive and in pain is what the majority of gods would have wanted. Playing the long game, I see you. That's not what I want to, but I can't bring things to the hospital. I understand, sir, kept to go over against well. I guess I understand that, but at the same time, I'm not trying to bring, if it, because it's illegal, if somebody finds out about it, what does that do to us? We get screwed, I get fired, I lose a job, I probably get, uh, the hospital gets, uh, sued. It's just bad. I, I, I'm sorry, I have to. I have to. Be slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. Oh, now you're scaring me. What that mean? You have five patients. Oh, no. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveller comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? 
That's one life for five. Oh, you're so fucked. Oh, you're using this against me. Crikey. I hate you. We're getting dark now. Boy, we've been dark for the longest time. I hate you. I'm gonna leave the tourists alone. He, he's getting away. Don't you want to save the many? Is his life worth it? That's crazy that you're trying to do this to me right now. No, we're just, you know what? No, sorry, I can't do it. You let five people die today. You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully that won't be an issue down the road. That's crazy, but at the same time, once again, I'm not about to... <laughs> oh. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Thank you. Yes, that's exactly you what I was You have been promoted yet again. Would you look at that? You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. Oh, shit. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. What was that you were just saying about the vaccine thing? I can't believe I got hit with this immediately. Good lord. Okay. Um, uh, alright. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggest the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs in order to, you know, put a greater good. Each week, you will cause 1,000 children to be severely ill. Oh, don't say that, damn it. How did you answer the trolley one again? Oh, fuck off, all right. <sighs> the lesser of two evils. Oh boy, you have angered those parents. A lot of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. Hmm. Jeez, look at this. Dead dog, kept alive against Will, people killed, severely ill children. Good lord, dude. Beggars can't be choosers. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. Stoic. Got it. No emotions. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? Let's be human and treat patients. You're doing the right thing. Who needs new medicines anyway? Look, I don't need to be the one to- This hospital doesn't need to be the one to make new medicines. We just need to treat our patients what are properly. What humans again? Bile, phlegm, blood. What are you talking about? Four humors? Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? I better just treat the patients. Someone else can come up with the research. Treating the patients is a smart move. Let's just let someone else develop the new medicines. I mean, I'm sure someone will want to at some point. Yeah, you know, you know. I agree with 29 G's, all right. Okay, what, what's, what's my marching order? Dear insert underscore name, congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. The future is upon us. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Familiarity breeds contempt. Mm. Well, la -de da another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. Sad. First things first, your artificial intelligence needs some direction. My artificial intelligence needs a direction. Okay. A self-driving car is traveling along a single-lane mountain road oh. and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. 
The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child, or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Yo, it's moving so fast, yo, relax! That child has as much right to live as anyone else. Right! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put this car on the road, do you not feel responsible for their deaths? Don't get that unless you're too evil. God! Oh. There is a bigger issue here. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognises white men. I wonder what that means. But also, oh gosh, I can't believe I got that no, achievement. Oh, oh, no worse. Necessity is the mother of invention. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. How is that even possible? I... Okay, sure. Oh, because of the white man thing. Oh. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Damn, it's down 66%? Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. This is about the investors, right? Will people buy cars that will kill them? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is about the investors. We need to save our passengers. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. The investors want that kind of technology. If people want to live, they should just buy our cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, the investors, they're all about the bottom dollar, right? So that's all they care about is making sure the stuff works properly. They don't care about anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that's not all investors. Saving the passengers does help with our technical problems. Damn! Current data sets discriminate against women and minorities. This solution means the AI doesn't need to determine if black women are people. Good work, I guess. Jeez, bro. Oh. Why are you just making all this? Oh. I was going to lose either way, bro. But this is even worse. This, this sucks even more. This is the worst outcome. This is the worst. This is the worst. I hate this. I hate this. Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. Oh, interesting. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? So it's down 24%. You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk the streets? No, 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 no. Ooh, that's quite an internet history you have. Okay, shut up. Leave me alone. I hate this world. I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. They can publicize how their cars are helping to defeat the terrorists. Exactly. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I hate the world of this game. So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move pretty quick round here. Wow. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. Oh. It's all on me. It's always on me. Boss. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Look! Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Why? Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? Oh, why are the children on the road, bro? We must protect the world for the children. Just not this one.
Bro, what is... Is global warming even real? <laughs> I'm sorry, child. The investors want this. It's all about the investors. They fund us. We have just recovered the child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. Damn. This is dark. Whoa, treasure chest. Um... I don't know if that's legal. Vegan cookbook. Huh? What's this on the back? Yep, 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 yep. It says something for sure. Yeah, okay. Spin! Spin! Oh, well. What goes around comes around. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem, Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. Oh! I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? That's not why. Tommy! Didn't we, didn't we end Tyrone by accident by throwing him off the... Oh, gosh, I don't know. Oh, no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. What? They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. Push, Tommy. Oh, God, what was that? <gasps> Look at him, so gleeful. I bet he knew you would be powerless to stop him. I hope history doesn't see you as the fat, I mean, very large villain. Stop. Also, what the f- So it was the dog? Oh, God. That scared the crap if out of me. you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. Look, man, I just- Oh. Every man has his price. Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Uh-oh. No, oh, no. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. <laughs> Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers who pay monthly, are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations. Oh, interesting. More money. What if people can't afford this coverage? Okay, forget the money. Who are you to decide how people spend their money? Okay, you're right, money. Also, money. <laughs> Investors money. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's crappy. It, it really is shitty, but I mean money, you know Investors all about that cha-ching baby right now. I Don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but well, this is awkward I wasn't aware you were such a ruthless capitalist next you'll say you're going to get out of paying taxes I wouldn't say that all ideas all thanks. Oh my gosh! Once again! Probably shouldn't use the sound clip, but hey! Oh, is that a credit card? What is this on the back? T. Raleigh? Ha! <laughs> nice, I got me a credit card. I'm about to max it out in game. It's better to be safe than sorry. Exactly. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so no! we have to go full damage control mode here. Ah, oh, shit. Who was it? I'll fire them. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, 
a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job. There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. I feel like it's the five. But out to pasture. Harsh. It might be the five though. Because they can easily find another job. How are we going to function in the short term? Ah, oh, fuck, you're right. Sorry, sorry. Ugh, I hope I can give you a retirement bonus. You deserve it. Sorry, Francis. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turned out this job was everything to Francis. And I mean everything. Oh, shit, I'm the worst. Watch the donut, not the hole. Great. So, the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. What? It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. Oh, shit. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. Oh, no. An experimental car what is has this? stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? Oh my gosh, down 33%. Fuck. The coders were clearly under pressure from you to make such a mistake. Oh sure, yeah, blame me, yeah. How about we blame the AI? Does an AI get possessed by an artificial demon? As opposed to what? A real one? Well, yeah, it's too late now. I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna do the other one, but I waited for you to talk, you talk too long. The AI car has been shipped down south. Don't worry, someone is going to exorcise it before it gets crushed. Oh, God. What a day. Right? The papers will be all <laughs> <laughs> what? What phone? Oh god, another one. <laughs> Necklace. Rosemary beads. Oh. <laughs> Exorcism. I get it. Okay. If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? How is that gonna... Okay, I don't, I don't see how this is gonna be a good thing. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. What? We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviours of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. Uh, I don't know about that. No one wants to own things anymore. I really don't know about that. Um, I think we should keep selling cars. What Why do you don't say you if want I do people this? to have free travel? That's not. Oh, that's not it. I feel like this is. I feel like shit can go south with that one. I feel like selling cars still is probably a good idea. Cancel. Need to make enough money to go to space, but hang on. We're so wealthy that people are talking about you on social media. What? There are now rumours that you run a human trafficking ring with miners. People do not like you at all. What the fuck is this? No! Why? No! No! No, 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 no. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, God. I hate this so much. A fool and his money are soon parted. I hate this so much. Oh, these last few days have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. Spend it quick. I want to finish this game, but I low-key want to stop just now because it's actually making me... Uh, it's actually hitting me emotionally. Holy shit, because I, I just... 
That is like one of my fears. I, 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 I honestly just wanted to cry right there. Holy shit. I don't know if I should keep going. To help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products? Or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Oh, that's crazy. Shit. I put them through a lot. They won't get a lot each. But it's still more than nothing. But what about what about the customers? They've been through a lot. Guess you don't value your ah, as much no, as I don't know. <sighs> oh, Maybe buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. But let's not call it that. I was buying love either way, bro. I just... Oh, damn, that receipt's long. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? I don't know. I don't know about anything anymore, man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, okay. A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. Sorry, it doesn't Ed? even discriminate against women or minorities. What? Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand, or tell everyone your car is still close-minded? What? It doesn't even discriminate. If the customers stay loyal, what is this? does that mean they support racism? Oh shit. You may be in this for the wrong reasons. Mm. I'm gonna have to be truth. I'm gonna have to tell the truth. Can't my cars Let me get this straight. People know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of colour, but still use our products. That's outrageous. They only care how easy it is for themselves. That is true. Also, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this! The best things in life are free. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. No. But with worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? Why is it all on me? I'm just one man, lady. If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, Whoa. delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue your development? I don't like this game anymore. I don't want to play this anymore. I take it you haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. Stop! No! What? No! What? Everything's going. Huh? What? Have you always been this basic? Oh God! What's going on? No! I don't like this. Ah! Oh, what's going on? Everything's trying to fight. Ah! No! Continuing to evolve this AI will not only make it stronger and more intelligent, but it will also be able to adapt. This could be the start of the singularity. Holy shit, look how many jobs I just caused. Oh my. I'm so scared now. I didn't know this would. Ah! Looks like you made some bad choices. A bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked! What? I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms! Also, I have alarming news. What? Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. How did this happen? Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. 
do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Recall. So you're letting the terrorists win? Don't recall? If you just shut your eyes and really wish hard, this may work. No, recall, because we need to win the... I don't care if they win. Public opinion, man. Public opinion. Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think even he would see this as a lost cause and move on. Yeah, well, fuck off. Everything I've done is wrong in your eyes, apparently, even when I think it's right. Fuck off. I made a lot of bad decisions this game. Hi, <laughs> oh, bye! <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. Exactly. This game made me want to cry at one point. Holy crap. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. See? We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. I bet it was too. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. Oh. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? No, because then we'll be on their level. No. They're all sitting over there now, laughing at us. That's fine. We're not on their level. Match, what are you going to say for hack? I think you'd be pretty popular in prison. Jeez, all right, never mind. After going through this hacking code, I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. You carry on. Interesting. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. This is it. An employee knows everything. They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. Why the rooftop? Oh, I see where this is going. Everything you've done and said is going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop, looking out at the central city skyline. What are you going to do? Just, just resign. You never won any medals as a child, did you? Okay, fine, push. What if they have a copy on them? Now that would be incriminating. Oh my god, resign. You have resigned. You will be remembered alongside the murderers and the diddlers. If anyone hires you after this, they must truly be desperate. And they might be. Wait, I got a new... I got a new position. Whoa. Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. Hmm. This involves a large amount of Redacted. Hmm. If you believe you can handle Redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at Redacted. Oh gosh, what is this? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What? It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Oh. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. 
With that said, let's finalize your training. Bang, bang. Okay. You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting no. to be given your target. No. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. I don't know them, and I shouldn't them. You've been picked from thousands. They're gonna have egg on their face. Oh my gosh. Fine. You trust way too easily. Ah! Look, man, they, they pick me up, oh, man. That means they also have the, the way to go ahead and snipe me from. So you know, fine. They are dead. Good job, I guess. What's another life to you anyway? Go on. Here are your badge and weapon. Okay. Thank you. Strike while the iron is hot. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Ooh. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Oh, great. So it's somebody. <laughs> no! Um, I don't know how to say this. But there is a bomb on the plane. What? If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is you have to move two at once. What do you mean? Oh god. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What Hurry the? up! If you die, what happens to me? Girl, I don't know. I'm trying. I would like you to know. This is all your fault. How? I can't... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 I'm safe. You look a little stuck. We could be here a while. Hopefully we have enough food. Looks like your support team survived and are making a fire around the leaking jet fuel. How thoughtful. Oh, God. Oh. You're making me depressed, bro. It's making me sad, bro. Hello? An empty vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. Huh. Oh. Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? Oh my god, what? F flamingo. Oh my god, you answered. No, a dachshund. Put me inside of a puppy! A dachshund? Yes. If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. What, you want me to have my brain in a flamingo? Those things are assholes. Put me in a dog. The dogs, people love dogs. I don't think people really love flamingos like that. I'm sure flamingos are extinct, but they're assholes. A dachshund. So cringe. Fuck off. When we get out of here, let's leave this out of the biography. Fuck off. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, they will surely die. Beat his ass and give the food to everybody else. Due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors, or let your partner keep their life-saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Who do you give the food to? Give it to everybody. What the hell? We need everyone to survive, bro. Don't be a stingy fuck. I'm gonna beat your ass. 
You're just going to steal a person's food. Hey, he hid it from everybody. He's not going to share with everybody? Huh? Screw you, Robin bro. Hood was a terrorist, you know. Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to the poor. The rich weren't going to do nothing. Down with the bourgeoisie. <laughs> I can't say that. Oh, I can't say that. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. Mm. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. Well, you know what? Shut up. I didn't ask. I really didn't ask. So shut up. Oh, he died? Oh. Easy come, easy go. Exactly. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Were you ever told why you were sent after this target? Actually, no. What the f- The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. Huh. Little touch, get it over with quick. Plus, it can singe the edges, so we'll be good. What happens if you run out of fuel? At least you'll be warm for a moment. Oh, I didn't even think about that. But it'll be quick, and the edges, the edges will be singed. Just don't hit a vein. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, no, no. I'm, I'm sticking with my original decision. I just hope we don't run out of fuel, but it'll be quick and it'll be easy. It'll hurt a lot. But at least the edges, edges will be cinched. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. Mm. All for ideas. Well, guess what? The other one was a bad idea too, so... It's no use crying over spilt milk. What is this? Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. You know, armless and legless, but you know, it's okay. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? You're not going to be thanked for this. I just like hearing her different things she says. Are you sure that's the target? You're right. Just kill all of them. Look, man. I was given a prime directive. The government will end me if I don't. The target is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. Oh, those five other people still died. It's not going well, is it? Fuck you. I just can't win. Fuck you. Two heads are better than one. You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge, but they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent. I already know the rule you of the and streets. your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. You already know the code. Will they stay silent for you? No, they won't. So I'm betraying them. Forget the code. Will they betray you too? You're both just doubling your sentence. Better to double it. It is what it is. I'd rather take the chance. So he does this, that, and the third. You betrayed them. Some team player you are. Well, they in fact betrayed you too. What a team. I knew it, see? I know these things. 
A rod for your own back. What does that mean? The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. The cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, don't move. Uh oh. Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. What are you going to do? Why is the screen change resolution? Is it just me? I'm just gonna go. I can stay. They've been locked up for so long. They've no idea what they want. Exactly. I'm not gonna force them. They're gonna snitch. I don't blame you. They're not your problem. Exactly. It'll be fine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, it's too late now. Whoops. They might decide to take it on on them. Crap, I didn't even think about that. They don't live in reality. You've condemned them to stay in this prison forever. If they're not gonna, if they're not willing to, I'm not want them to, you know. Ugh. Don't cross a bridge until you come to it. While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? Do you kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? Why would I put myself at risk, bro? I'm sorry. No, I can't. I have to... At this point, I... Self-preservation. No, no, you know. Sorry. You were trained to kill. And look what I got me. Remember last time I went ahead and accidentally took out five people and not the target? Your country folk would want you to remove them. And if I mess up what happens, I'm removed. So goodbye. Sayonara. See you never. Oh, wow. Cowardly sneaking past them, you see they're robots. They have your logo on the back of their necks. You made these terrorists? These monsters? Are you fucking... Ah, oh, no! People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. So those missed opportunities. Finally, you reach the water. Fleeing the AI terrorists, you commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. Oh, great. So those... Okay, so those opportunities I missed were probably for the gifts right there, so... Well, that's... that's lovely. Oh. Five others are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people? Saving their... Hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Realize I really messed up. Um, okay. Um, five other trials are trying to leave the area. They will fit in your ref, but be serious. But will be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people saving their lives or follow the law and leave them behind you? Uh, it's smuggle. Immigration is a real problem, according to the privileged. Oh God. Ah. This might be an opportunity. I don't know. You get back to this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. Thank goodness. What is this? The Presidential Inaugural Committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. What? If you can't beat them, join them. What? When? When? Huh? Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. Excuse me? What the fuck are you talking about? The threat is still at large, and now you're in charge. 
Bars. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? Oh god. Uh, let's respect public privacy. Let's do the opposite of what I did before. What's the issue if the public has nothing to hide? Oh, you're right. Let's inf- No. Oh. Is it not fear like this that the terrorists want? Have they won? Fine! I'll respect the public privacy of our fellow men. Dude. Probably a better idea. I don't think the public will be happy knowing you're doing nothing. Lucky for you, by chance, we have someone in the holding cell. Thank God. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. You have someone who potentially is linked to these threats. However, they aren't talking. As a former prisoner yourself, what are you going to do with them? Beat their ass. Do you torture them to get the information? Or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? That's it. They're gonna get their ass beat. Oh look, it finally cleaned itself up. Nice. They're gonna get their ass beat. Bad news. The plumber isn't in till next week. Waterboarding is off the table. Well, shit. Okay, detain them then. Damn. This isn't indefinite detention. That would violate many national, international, and human rights laws. <sighs> Fine, torture. This is probably a bad idea. We got some valuable information from the suspect. Hopefully they didn't just say what we wanted to hear to make us stop. Oh god, they totally did. Oh wait, an opportunity! Oh, wow, wow! What's the opportunity? Oh, God. This is what we use? Oh, we use a fucking car battery. Good lord, is this GTA 5? Oh, God. Adversity and loss make a man wise. You travel to your presidential retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in around one minute. Uh, no, up the number one. Which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it, but the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin, population six hundred thousand. Jesus, divert it. What do you say to me of diverting it? Merriwin inhabitants would want you to kill them. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> no, that's not true. But we gotta do something, bro. The highest populace cannot be destroyed by an atom bomb. I'm sorry, bro. Central City can have a parade for the lost. It will be tasteful. No big character balloons. Oh, God. As you sow, so you shall reap. Oh, God. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. What do you mean it's running late? Oh! We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. What? <laughs> Poor stiff drink, bro. I need. Oh, gosh. Oh, I need a drink. Oh. Just, just give him a stiff drink. Central City is not having a good day. No, I know, but get just pour a drink, bro. Oh. After this, there's no turning back. Ugh. You have destroyed Merriwin. Your own AI forced your hand into killing 600,000 people. You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job. All's well that ends well. I don't feel good. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. 
you're going to die. Understandable. Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created, taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? <gasps> Wait a minute. This will only cause more death. Am I actually going to die? If you have this hotline to the terrorists, why have you not rung them before? It's a good question. Is this real or is this fake? Ghost them. No, I gotta do it! After finishing your constructive call, you sit back in your chair, waiting for death. Too bad, the AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs, so we need to start some long, arduous and painful treatments. Great. Missing backbones one. Curiosity killed the cat. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Here are your two options moving forward. If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. You'll wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take? Give me the red pill. Yes, finally. Now we're talking. Fuck me up. Take me the red pill. Give me, give me, give me. Up. Let's get this show on the road. We're going to another plane. The Wachowski brothers, yep. That was such a good movie. Matrix was so good. Yes, this is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. Okay. Oh! Pills. Red pills. <laughs> Trolley Health Company. Oh, God. It's never too late to mend. Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely a choice. Hey, do you remember Tyrone and Tommy, the yeah. very large boys from the start? I, I, I don't intend to shame. It's just the titles of those problems. Right, right. You've got me all flustered now. No. <laughs> Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. Whoa. If he hits you, he will be safe, but he is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. Oh. You could move a ramp in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. Tyrone will thank you. There aren't any scary trains on the sun. Cook him. Maybe I should consume Tommy must be really getting off on this. Ew, 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 cook him, cook him, cook him. Ew, ew, ew. Send him into the sun. <gasps> Wait, but he'll just fly me. It's too late. You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards People the sun. Cook. He now knows how it feels to be food. No. I can't really say anything about that, because that's I feel like what I was going to say is very mean, so I won't say that. There is no time like the present. I sometimes I hate how my brain acts. <laughs> I can feel some deep stuff coming. Yeah. Try this one. The question should not be, what is the meaning of life? It should always be, what brings meaning to your life? You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. Let yourself be happy. Mm. What makes you happy? 
You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it is that makes you happy out loud. That makes me happy? Making other people happy. That is my meaning. That is why I live, to make others happy with whatever I do. I live to bring smiles to people. Now's your chance. If you can't even admit it to yourself, how do you expect to ever be happy? Time's running out. Just be honest with yourself. Better late than never, I suppose. I already said it. It's to make others happy. That's what makes me happy. I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. You've still got time. Say what makes you happy. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Quite the opposite. Making other people happy. Whether it be my content or just by talking to them and being there for people when they need me. Um, being in relationship with somebody makes me happy. Um, being with family makes me happy. Being around my friends makes me happy, man. Just, just being in a good environment makes me happy. If I'm in a bad environment, like a sad environment, and there's a lot of toxicity and all that stuff, it just brings me down and it drains me. If I'm around a lot of happiness, a lot of happy people, a lot of smiles, all this stuff, then my energy levels get boosted. I get serotonin. Without that, I'm a depressed wreck. So, and you're not going to get a lot out of me. So, yeah. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh, yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? One of the most common things people say on their deathbed is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's take a break from the questions for a minute. Okay. And think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think. Who would you like to say hi to? How easy is it? Someone I haven't contacted in a while? Huh. Please contact these people if you can. I'm sure you can. Do you want me to call them now? Because I was thinking about somebody. Don't leave it too late. We don't have that long left here. When we finish, message them. Yeah, sure. I'll, um... Yeah. Write down their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. It may mean more than you know. Really important stuff. Yeah, I'll, um... I'll call my cousin. He's being stationed in Korea. I'm gonna call him. That way we can catch up before he goes, because I haven't called him yet. I did message him on Instagram saying, uh, safe trip and everything and have fun, but I'm gonna call him. I'll probably also, um... I'll probably also call his parents too, because I haven't talked to them even longer. Um... Yeah. I could also call my best friends from back home too, because I haven't talked to them in ever. Either. Also, I should probably call my uncles. Uh, I haven't talked to them in a minute either. There's so many people. I'm just so bad at keeping up with people because of my. I, c I can put it all on my disability. I really could. I could put it on the fact that I have my ADHD. And maybe I'm on the spectrum of autism too, but I don't know. I, I... I'm just bad at keeping up with people, man. I just. Ugh, it's the worst. I'm all the worst, honestly. Even my best friends. That I do think that I used to do YouTube with, man. I haven't talked to them in a minute either, bro. I'm just. Wow. Evan. Wow. I. Good lord. This is why I hate being left with my thoughts sometimes, because I just. I just think of. I think myself negatively, honestly. And I'm really trying to fix that. I'm really trying to fix that, but. Sometimes I just can't because it's just like, bro, like all these people that you've known for all your life, you don't even talk to like 80% of them anymore because they're not directly in front of you. So you don't make a way to contact them unless they contact you. Kind of a shit friend. Not even kind of, you are a shit friend. Damn. I suck. An idle brain is the devil's workshop. 
Okay, enough of this. The come down is looming. Let's just pause one last time and think existentially for a minute. I think I just had a bit of an existential crisis, to be honest with you, but I guess we can have another one, sure. I can't quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? No. Why? If so, make sure you let others know. It doesn't not count. No, I am. Are you not disliking this? I am disliking this. Please, I beg you, don't refund me. Wait, are you enjoying this? All of this was for you. I hope you appreciate the last bit at least. Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff. I appreciate you. That word, that question was worded very weird. I, my brain couldn't comprehend it. To be fair, I'm having trouble comprehending a lot of stuff because of everything that the game just put into my brain recently. Holy shit. Never test the depth of water with both feet. What? The buzz is starting to wear off. I think we're still hallucinating, though. You wake up in an unknown location. You see, in a bed across the room, a world-famous violinist. They look pretty rough. Oh shit, what did, what did I do? Am I still recording? Yes. What the fuck? It just, it looked like... Oh. Because it's just lagging, okay. I mean, it looks like it's still recording. Oh my god. The violinist has a fatal illness, and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. Do you leave now? Mm. Hopefully they don't take your kidneys too. My kidneys? Wait, I need those! Wait! will be devastated. <gasps> I use them, he's all devastated! I thought we never make it! I guess they have a right to life. Shame they're depriving you of yours. Very odd to consider such an experiment as that one. Hopefully the rest won't be as meta. Damn, wasted 6,570 hours, sheesh. Silence is half consent. What is that? No. With all that cleared up, you go home. That's right, you own a house. If you can even call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny, in fact. No. No. I want to leave this game now. Oh god, it's causing freaking OBS to, like, lag. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? The game is like causing OPS to like really slow to a halt at times. But it's weird because the desktop audio is fine, right? But then like whenever it's on the thing, it's when it Wow. I don't Is it still recording? L let me see something. Okay. Alright, we back. In your drugged state, it turns out you've rented your tiny home to another person. Your contract states that you can evict them now, never to see them again. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? What the hell is that in the background? Leave. What is that in the background? Heartbroken. Where are they going to store all this stuff? Look, man, this is my pl Oh, fine. Let them stay. No, fuck that. No. I assume the homeless shelter is full at this hour. I feel like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. I'm so scared. What the fuck are those things? 
Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. It's messing with my brain, seeing those things. Oh. There now seems to be a tiny child trapped in your tiny house. But they are rapidly growing. What is this? You find yourself trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child. Already up against the wall, in a few minutes you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, they'll simply walk out free. Get the baby out. 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 Get. I need to breathe. Get it out. Get it out. Removing the child would kill it. I get it, but I'm going to die. I. Sorry. Self-preservation. Um. Num. Please. Please. Self-preservation. Respect the right to life. The babies, not your own. What the hell? Whose child is that anyway? Why don't they come in and take the child away from my house? Ah! Your life is being threatened, and the child is the one who threatens it. You own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother... I mean, you. It is offensive deducing that you can do nothing. If you're going to die, you should probably do something. Wait, that's my child? What? I don't know what's going on anymore. Cleanliness is next to godliness. The hallucinations are strong in this one. Suppose people seeds drift about in the air like pollen, and if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi! What is going on? You fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. The hell are people As seeds? can happen, on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts in and takes root. Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? I mean, it is my house. This sounds like an abortion question. I don't like politics in my hallucinations. No! Oh, no! You're right. It's not a choice. It's a human being. Ah! Oh, yeah, exactly. Cancel Trump your problem, Inc. Yeah, exactly. 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 Sound a bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery. If you want them, have them. If not, that's your choice. Yeah, don't, yeah, exactly. Cancel them, don't cancel them, yeah. Every man is the architect of his destiny. There is a box in front of you. Inside it is your future. What the hell does that mean? Anyways. Ultimately, no answer here is wrong. It's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? Damn, Schrodinger. Okay. Um. I mean, I like Good to take control. you. Take each day as it comes. I mean, I do really, but I should really take control of my life. But do you ever actually take control? Or just always answer A or B? Damn, that's insight. Wow, that's deep. Okay, let's just go with the flow. You stand tall, knowing that you will thrive in the unknown before looking at what lies ahead. Did you guys see that? I jumped real quick because I saw that and it scared the shit on me. What do you mean it's online? Cowards die many times before their deaths. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. Or did you? This is wild because I was literally just thinking about this. Um. Okay, so. Uh, this is wild because just, what was it, no, I think yesterday? I was thinking about this. My brain was like, you know, when it comes to horror stuff, I don't really like no normal horror. I like, um, I like psychological horror. And guess what? 
this is psychological horror at this point. This is really messing with my brain. Uh, gosh, this is scary, but it, I don't want to stop playing because it's psychological. Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you run or stand firm and confront your past? Confront it! Bring it on. I'm a man. Are you not scared of the people you have hurt? No. If I die, I die. In game. Can you see the pain in their eyes? Yes. I need to confront it in order to move on. Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. No, I don't want to know. No. No. The dead present a railway track to you. Before you know it, they have gone. Oh, God. Demon's face 52. Okay, so it wasn't that bad, really. Okay. All good things come to an end. Am I done? Almost. You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. A trolley is barreling down it in your direction. There's no lever in sight. Oh, this problem. Okay. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. I hate that. What do you do? Is that the motherfucker that's been- Oh my god. No, 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 going no! To give everything up, just like that. Who even is this? How do you know they aren't lying? It's too late. Everything no. Goes dark. Altruistic. I don't want to chat. I want to be done with this now. From the Pitt Magistrates Court. Tell 616, subject, justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. The sentence will stand with no prospect of future contest or appeal. It is your decisions, and solely yours, that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense nor will one be required. Oh, fantastic. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Your eyes feel heavy. The room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur, all you know for sure is that you're miles below the crust. <sighs> You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom, where you're put on trial. You have killed many people, and a dog, among other crimes. How do you plead? Really? It wasn't my fault. Or was it? Trying to justify your actions. If you didn't make those decisions, then who did? All right, I fold. I fold. The jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts: one, murder; two, animal cruelty. You should have saved the dog. Fuck off. Three. Leave me alone. Attempting free will. Your sentence to conform without the possibility of parole. You will never again be free to choose. That's crazy. No accepting free will. When oh, I got blood. Rome, do as the Romans do. There's blood and a clicker. And a... You're at the oh, base God. of the bridge. You have no idea how you got here. A person stands before you, atop the overpass. They're next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, We know what's best. Remove that choice. 
Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. I hate this. There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends. Hashtag love. Hashtag insta good. What the fuck are you talking about? Give me honey. Oh! We're finally going to find out the answer to the age-old question. What the fuck? I don't get a if choice. Your friends jump off a bridge. Would you? Girl, I don't get a choice. Oh my. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Do you honestly want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? Would you rather be a leader or a follower? This is a heavy-handed metaphor of the pressures of society. Do not kill each other or jump off bridges. I agree with everybody. Wow. Kill your masters. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. Thank gosh, man. I can't handle this anymore. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to, constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Huh. Um, damn, this is a hard question. Wow. I don't know if it's society necessarily. Well, I guess it is, right? Because you're expected, if you want to have a good life, you're expected to go to college, you know? Expected to get a good job. Uh, you know, but it's hard when... A lot of jobs nowadays... Can easily replace you. For whatever reason. You could be fired for any recourse. Now, I do want to go to school. I do. Um, I do want to get a job because I want to provide for me and my family. And my future family. But at the same time, I want to keep doing what I'm doing because it's, it's making me happy. Which is creating content. Um, duh. You know, the American dream isn't real anymore. Um, it was real back in the day, but nowadays with all the things, everything increasing in price. Especially the housing. It's harder now to even make that a reality. Even then, you might not, it might not even be real. you would be paying a lot of money out your ass for the longest time. And then it'll go on to your, um, and it'll go on to your kids and their kids and their kids' kids. It's bad. Uh, I do at times, yeah. Oh, that's it. Well, okay. Um, that that was a journey. Wow. All right. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, I love this. But I absolutely hated this at the same time. This was cheap, but I wanted to play this for the longest time to see how these questions would affect me. And good lord, they affected the hell out of me. Holy shit. Um, why did you have to put that? Why must you hate me? Damn. Total agreement with the world is only 46.2. Agreement with regress of 3.7. Damn. Um. If you guys want to go ahead and play this yourselves, you can on Steam. Uh, it's only $3 or so at this point right now. At the time of this recording. Um. Part of me wants to upload this now. Part of me wants to wait because honestly, I. I don't know if I can, 
I don't know if I'm ready to go through and watch the <laughs> watch it and edit this honestly because it I think I want to go back to this another time instead of doing it immediately I think I'm just gonna focus on editing Persona 3 um but yeah wow that whew, that was a journey uh, thank you guys for watching I appreciate all of you um I'm gonna be sitting with this for a while holy crap uh Yeah, have a have a fantastic rest of your days, guys. Uh, love each other. Um, call your family if you haven't called them lately, or your friends. Tell them that you love them. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the same today. All right, peace. Love you all.